Right, replacing the rear door panel uh, in your fourth gen Maxima. We're going to start off with uh, removing this window switch. Kind of the same way as the front, except for you do it from the rear of the switch, not the front. Okay. Disconnect the wire in here. Same with this, just pop that off. Pop that off. That comes right off. Removing the uh, door handle cup is the same as the fronts. It's a little tiny trim piece you pop out. Again, a little 8 millimeter screw holding that handle in. Handle pops right out. Just go ahead and I think that's what I do. See, just falling off all over the place. Go ahead and start lifting it out, and it pops right out. You may have noticed earlier that the uh, two clips got stuck in the door, the uh, door itself. So just gonna go ahead and pull them out of the door. Uh, there are special tools for it, I just use pliers. And uh, yeah, go ahead and slide them in the door panel. I right, can put this back in place. Go ahead and just feed it around here. Again, this is the first time I've done the rear, so. This seems to work pretty well. I'll make sure I go ahead and pull through the, uh, the harness. For the other window switch. Okay, it's in place now. Harness. Okay. Just make sure it's all nice and nice and well. Throw this back in. Then for the rear clip, pop that in the front. See, window switch. Place. Set the front. Back pops right down. The door handle cup just slides right in there. So let's make sure the screw is lined up. Tighten down, put back your little trim piece that covers that screw up in there. Just push that back into place and, uh, and pretty much you're done. Uh, just gotta make sure again all your clips are in place. That is how you remove and replace the rear door panels in your fourth gen Maxima.